my name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment and today I want to show you when to use a speaker, who it's for, and the best practices, uh, the best uses for the speaker. So essentially the main reason why I bought this speaker is for our clean setup. It's nice and quick and is easy and lightweight. But the main reason why I bought this is I thought this was going to be a great cocktail setup speaker and that's what I use it mostly for is our uh, cocktail setup I also have the RCF speakers but I, I really really like the speaker now this wedding I'm doing today is about 75 people and I think anything from about 75 to about 150 this is going to be ideal it is missing quite a bit on the low end so you can couple this with a sub if you need some more uh, bass but if I need some more bass, um, I'm gonna switch over to our QSC setup. Um, I do not regret buying these whatsoever. When I'm doing a cocktail setup, I usually need uh, to be able to plug in an iPod and then one or two mics or somebody playing in a guitar, be able to mic them up and then I can still EQ it from my phone or from my iPad so I can pull out some of the frequencies. Um, me personally, I run these into an X, uh, XR mixer, um, the Behringer 12, 18, or 16, and I bypass the EQ setup. I know these are really good for EQ and it has that, but for my tasting, it's super laggy. Uh, I just don't like the functionality of it, trying to get it to match up with the other one and the other inputs. I'd rather just run it into my XR mixer, um, leave these just raw coming out, and then that way I can do all the processing on that. Uh, there's no like real-time readout on these, and so I can't fine-tune and find out where like the bad frequencies. I kind of just have to do it by ear. Uh, the app is a little bit glitchy, and it doesn't. I've just had a little bit of finicky problems with it. So I literally just set these speakers at Unity, and that way I can do all the processing from my other mixer but I really feel that these are a really, really great value um, for people doing like that 75 to 150 person wedding, uh, pretty uh, mid, like I'd say like mid-sized ballroom, nothing small or, you know, ginormous. Um, you're gonna have to do a lot of other stuff when it comes to that. Now this particular wedding, um, I have tables right here, my dance floor's over here. So we have a QSC speaker that is on the other side of the room so that way it can fill in and I don't have to pump these across the room. Now where this can get problematic, the speaker, you see it, I can't twist these. If I want the sound to go that way, I have to pick up the whole thing and move it that way, move it directions. My RCFs, I can just take the tops and I can plug them. Now, if I'm getting feedback from my microphone, I'm gonna have to like move it this way or whatnot. So those are the things that could be problematic. Another thing that could be problematic, this is full range. Highs, mids, lows. We did a wedding, we were up on a stage, so the bass, was all the way up here. I should have put it down on the ground, but essentially the sound went over the top and went over everybody and nobody could hear anything except for the people in the back room. It was great for the people in the back room. So those are the only things that I find that's problematic, but for the value in what these bring, I think these are ideal uh, for most wedding DJs or if you're doing like a cocktail setup. Um, if I need to do a dinner setup, I'll go ahead and use these. They're amazing. Cocktail, you can probably get away with one. Dinner setup, I'm going to want to have two. But for our needs, I think these are great. I think these get a bad name because people are trying to do too much with these or too big of a room, and they're expecting too much sound and a lot of low end. It's, it's just not what it's designed for. And so if you can keep that in mind, I think you'll be really, really happy with these speakers because, man, setting up for a cocktail setup with this is super easy to do i pull off the bag stack these up plug a microphone in plug in ipad and i'm good to go and it's up and running so let me know if you have any more questions this is the jbl prx1 thank you guys